Hello everyone, um, today's video is on the mass flow rate and this is a continuation of sort of the previous video on the degrees of freedom. It's going to be that same um, system about the beans and the solid oil and the hexane being mixed up with them. And this video is simply to show you, guide you through the steps of, uh, of a recycle, uh, a recycle process flow. And um, we're, I'm going to show you just how to set up the equations, how to do the math for it, um, any other things that might pop up in this specific type of question, and uh, hopefully you'll have a better understanding of how to approach these problems after this. So starting with this question, okay, um, we're going to start at um, finding the uh, this zero DOF position, which was the extractor. So, at the extractor, assuming a 100 kilogram basis, okay, we know that it had, um, going into that extractor, there was 13 kilograms of solid um, beans. We knew there was 87 kilograms of the liquid beans. And, oh, whoops, 87 was solid, 13 was the oil. And we knew that there was 300 kilograms of hexane being pumped in. Um, and uh, these combined to make a total of 400 kilograms of the uh, coming out at flow 2. Um, so after you found you know, 400 kilograms, very easy, um, you need to find out, well, what are the, the fractions? Okay, fractions that are fraction representing the solid component and the fraction uh, representing the oil component. Normally, um, x and y, x is always for mass base, and then y is always for molar base. But in this question, because we're dealing with two states of matter, we just sort of, this is how we set it up. All right, so for x2, uh, simply if we were to plug in our 400 kilograms here, do 87 divided by 400, you'll get that x2 is equal to zero, uh, 0 0.2175 and you'll get that y2 is equal to 0 0.0325 okay now moving on from there we're gonna have to say that uh, we're calculating uh, m3 so we know that m3 uh, this is for flow 3 okay that's uh, coming out of the f coming out of f the uh, filter um, we know that there was a 75% ratio that was provided to us for the um, solid component. So that means that 75% of M3, 0.75, has to be equal to um, the 87 kilograms that was coming in uh, of the solid kilograms of the beans, bean solid that was coming in from M2. So that means that M3, therefore, must be equal to 116 kilograms, okay? Now, moving on to more of the, the concentrations of the stream 3, okay? Um, this is a bit more complicated, this little bit. It's probably the hardest part of the question. So 75% of which is the um, solid bean stuff. And, uh, you know, the rest of that is obviously the hexane and the oil. So that has to have some sort of uh, ratio between those two, okay? And in stream two, we, we had that ratio. We know that um, Y2, the which is the amount of oil, uh, there's a ratio between that and um, hexane, which we represent as 1 minus X2 minus Y2. You see, this ratio has to has to be proportional to the new ratio um, that is in the stream three. It's just that the total amounts are sort of shifting, right? So we set up our stream two's ratio here um, using the two numbers we got before, x two and y two, and you'll get that you'll get the ratio as zero point zero four three three. Okay. Then if you cross multiply 0 0.0433 with 0 0.25 minus y3, you get this equation, and you isolate y3 very easily, giving you the fraction of oil beans um, in stream 3. OK. 
Okay. Uh, moving on from there, we now want to find the flow rate coming out of stream four. Um, and we know that at this location, that M2 is equal to M3 plus M4. So we know that 400 kilograms is equal to the flow rate of M3, which was 116 kilograms. So that means plus M4. So that means that M4, very easy math, has to be equal to 284 kilograms. So now we're going to use that and we're going to plug that into this equation, um, 13, uh, th this equation to find that um, oil fraction component for Y4. Okay, because everything that M2 was giving for the oil component was 13 kilograms, and that 13 kilograms has to be equal to um, all the oil stuff coming out in the flow rate 3 and the flow rate 4. So if you do the math, plug in your 284, your 1116, and you plug in this new Y3 ratio that we have found here, you can isolate that Y4, and very easily you get that Y4 is equal to 0 0.041Y3. Alright, so that's, that's moved along very nicely. Now we got to think about stream 5, okay. So what is stream 5? It's the recycle stream, right? That is just, just hexane, as we saw in our degree of freedom. It was only one chemical species that was in that recycle stream, okay? So with that in mind, that must mean that M5, we know that M6 is pure oil. So then M5 must be 1 minus Y4, which represents the hexane times everything that was going into it, which was M4, that everything that was going into the evaporator, okay, which is M4. If you plug in your numbers here again, you should get that M5 is equal to 272.2 kilograms of, of hexane, okay? And now M6, our desired final product of oil, bean oil, you'll see that you'll get, um, that would be obviously Y4 times M4. Plug in the numbers that we had before, you'll get that M6 is equal to 11.8 kilograms. And don't forget, M1, the very beginning, we have to go all the way there and go back to it. And you should get for M1, uh, so M1 would be the uh, mixing point, okay? M1 was the mixing point. So we knew that once combined, everything was supposed to be equal to 300 kilograms. If you do 300 kilograms minus 272.2, which is the recycle stream that we just, just found here on M5, if you do the difference, you'll get that 27.8 kilograms C6H14. That's the fresh stuff, okay? Fresh hexane that's being pumped into the system. Um, of course, that wasn't the actual uh, final answer that the problem is higher. The problem actually wanted a whole bunch of ratios, okay? So the first ratio was the yield, okay, like how much stuff we put in and how much stuff we get out of it. So the desired yield is, we said, 11.8 kilograms for every 100 kilograms of bean stuff put in. So that's equal to 0 0.118, okay. Then we had, lastly, uh, there's two more. The, rec the recycle stream ratio, how much is being recycled for everything being freshly put in, 272.2 kg divided by our 27.2 kg, this was fresh, this is recycled, you're going to get 10 as your ratio, and then the other one is um, how much fresh stuff is put in f per, f per 100 kilograms of bean stuff, and that's simply 27.8 divided by 100 and that gives you a 0 0.278. So I didn't put my units there, but you should probably, <laughs> on your test, a proper test, put your unit, say, a kilogram of this, kilogram, over a kilogram of that, so that way the professor knows exactly what you're refer referring to, okay? Um, so this is a fairly elaborate question. Um, by now, after doing this, you've you got to be able to, you know, you see a question, you know how to label everything, you know how to find your degree of freedom, you know where to start. You then, once you know where to start, you know how to set up your equations, um, you know, your M2, your M3, your M this, etc. You know how to find your, you set up your, the X, the, the components, you know, fraction, uh, fractions, you know, X2 of this, X plus X2 of this is equal to this. you got to be able to set that up very quickly. Um, but, uh, yeah, 
process flows are probably the most symbolic part of uh, chemical engineering so hopefully you enjoyed and you're willing to redecorate your your bedroom walls with process flow diagrams because you'll be <laughs> doing that for a long time um, apart from that uh, things will get more complicated you will have energy balances so you'll throw in energy on top of this being for to helping having to solve systems with energy components um, also there's going to be countercurrent systems that's um, Dr. Burke's official most favorite type of question so take it as you will I will be doing a video on that but uh, yeah that's pretty much it thanks for listening